Hey, welcome back guys. Today we have a minor control deck. Also a slightly uh, new overlay. It's a like King Cup Electro Wizard themed. Uh, I definitely like it and I think we'll be sticking with it for a while. <laughs> no more changing stuff up. But anyway, today we'll do a minor control uh, bowler rocket deck that has really good matchups just about just just about everything in it uh, It's similar to the one surgical showed. I think there's only like one or two differences uh, But bowler I find is really good in these decks because it allows you to more effectively counter ground units such as elite barbs and hog And I really like this deck. It's a it's a deck that if you learn how to use it It can match up well against almost anything and I won several uh, 12 wins grand challenges and these wins will be taken from a 12 win grand challenge and let's get into it. The first one will be against Lava Loon. Uh, so typically the starting hand you want is... I, you kind of do want to save Ice Golem just in case you do rush with something. And Ice Golem is just really good to always have in hand. Uh, you can start off by like pushing like this. I threw down Miner and then Dark Goblin. Um, I wouldn't consistently rely on Dark Goblin doing your damage. Because it can be easy to stop once they uh, know you have it. But to start off here, I get a slight elixir disadvantage, but Dark Goblin locks on, and I take down the tower with a ton of minor uh, and Dark Goblin damage. Like, Dark Goblin, if it locks on tower, it's just insane. And so right here, I decide to place uh, Inferno Tower, which lures in the balloon. And so it's looking like he's either Lava Loon or Loon Cycle. Um, it actually, though, it wouldn't have been a bad idea to Rocket there, because Rocket would have taken the balloon down to like 1 HP, and then the minions would have all died. Uh, and I and that would have been what, what did I use? I guess the tombstone would have survived, but instead of using eight elixir defend, I would have used six. Uh, oh, and so even though I got more damage on the other side, something you always want to do against the lava hound is you want to throw down um, any push that you can do with miner and just push the opposite side. And here you see me using ice golem first to tank, and then miner gets in more shots because ice golem is tanking for it. So here I'll throw down the dark goblin in the back as well, and then I throw down the in front tower and it stops the lava hound pretty effectively his fireball is kind of wasted it's a negative one elixir trade so i'm doing pretty well here but yeah so the general thing with this deck is you just want to effectively defend like don't ever don't ever take costly moves don't rock it early on usually unless you get a positive elixir trade as well uh rocket's more of a finishing thing that's why you take rocket in this deck as opposed to like fireball because it allows you to finish towers from once, oh, and the kill range, once the tower gets to 600 HP, you can send in Minor Rocket and it'll pretty much always kill it. Uh, and you'll see how I do that, I'll, and I'll explain it a little bit more. So here, unfortunately, yeah, the Dark Goblin targets the Tombstone. I shouldn't have thrown Dark Goblin down, I should have just done Minor. Um, so yeah, split pushing the opposite lane. Bowler's kind of useless, I don't know. I just used him to have something to play, like he gets a positive elixir trade and Mega Man's in the same lane. If anything, you want that Bowler to be going down the opposite lane since it doesn't do anything to a Lava Helm. Uh, here, I'll stop the... The Inferno Tower is doing a really good job at stopping the Lava Hound, and even if he zapped it, it wouldn't have done anything because only Lava Hound was near. So right here, once again, I see that he's starting to push from the left side. I know he's going to throw down Lava Hound in front of that balloon, so I get some more minor chip in. I try to throw down Dark Goblin. Um, so it's actually okay that he wastes minions because it's an even trade, and those minions now aren't allowed to disrupt the uh, Inferno Tower quite as easily. One did make it, but uh, yeah. So I, I throw down the... The minions and here unfortunately I did have to rock it before the balloon or before the before the pups popped, but I knew that pretty much all I needed to do was defend one more time. So if I had defended a little bit better last time, I would have not had to use that rocket and the lava hound would have made it to the tower. But it's still not that bad. And here if he had decided to balloon, it wouldn't have been that big of a deal because the inferno tower was still up. And I could have thrown down Dog and been okay. So here uh, he threw down fireball just trying to get more damage and here I'm just trying to get a little bit of damage and with that miner right there it actually so rocket is 493 and for some reason I thought the tower was at like 550 so I should have just rocketed the tower right here and I would have already won but for some reason I thought I needed rocket and log because I thought the tower was at 500 or something and at this point he knew the game was over but yeah I mean it didn't matter but yeah, that was a mistake that could have cost me the game. Uh, yeah, Rocket is 493 to Towers. Fireball does 229 and Log does 104, Zap does 68. So yeah, those are like the important Tower things. Anyway, so I actually did lose to another Miner player. It was just me misplaying mostly, but that guy played well. Um, I think, yeah, but I did get the 12 wins on this. Unfortunately, I started like a draft challenge, which will be in my next video. So I won't be able to show that. But... I can't, I can't show me over in the chest this stream, which is a mistake by me. But anyway, we'll get into the next match. Here's against Zabbate. Zabbate's actually kind of a tough uh, matchup for this deck. 
but it's not one that you can't beat and as you'll see here since i won obviously uh and this was like the 10th or 11th one of a grand challenge so it was definitely a good player he had many cards won he was over 4,000 trophies but yeah this is definitely a duple match so here i saw if i saw him in the bag just a safe move um, and then I put down Dark Goblin, and the Dark Goblin is able to effectively pretty much do that. Oh, and he misses Fireball here, which is a really big deal, because now he's either going to have to waste more Elixir, or he's going to take Tower Damage, which is really nice. So, my Ice Golem actually ends up being kind of wasted. I decided to throw down Bowler, because I knew he was going to have to place Furnace in the opposite lane instead of the same lane. I mean, at the point that you see, I mean, I pretty much already knew he was that bait. Um... Well, I was assuming he was that big, because Skarmy... Well, I mean, they don't always run. Anyway, so negative one elixir trade here. I rocket the, the Mirrored Furnace, and I'm really happy with that. I throw down Ice Golem in front of the minions so that my minions were able to be take out his minion horde. Uh, and so now I just... So I'm coming out ahead. I've already got more tower damage than him. I rocketed that Furnace. It was really nice, because there's only negative one elixir, and that was like f almost 500 damage on the tower, so very nice here. I throw down the Bowler to wipe, uh, wipe out the rest of the Skeleton Army, which is really nice. And now I'm just going to kind of wait for his move. He throws down Princess. You don't want to log the Princess in this deck. You need the yeah, and see, the Goblin Barrel. I knew it was a Zabbay deck. Don't, don't log Princess. Use Minions or Dark Goblin to kill her. And then here, he actually throws down the Furnace to pre prevent those Minions. But he actually, I guess, the Minions actually would have done a lot of damage. Uh, or a decent amount of damage if he hadn't thrown down Furnace. But he ends up letting the Bowler connect with Tower and... And if you ever get like any incidental, uh, just accidental damage like that with a uh, bowler or a dark goblin or anything made to tower, just be like, yes, this game's so easy now. So you just defend for the rest of the game, wait for the time to almost be out, and then rocket miner, a uh, rocket miner log, whatever you need to do to finish off the tower. Because pretty much the rocket miner combo does typically like 600 to 700 damage, uh, if not more. Uh, and here, so he's. I'm, I'm just trying to get in a little bit of chip, so I know that for, for sure my next push will finish off the tower here. I want to be safe. I want to make sure those minions are on the tower, so I throw down Ice Go in front. And him... Okay, so he puts Princess and Miner. That's a... Uh, what? Princess is 3, and Furnace is 4, so 7 for 6. So a positive one looks to trade. Very solid there. Uh, just, you know, kind of controlling the game, keeping him from ever getting any damage on the tower. And I never use my log other than... Um, on a push where I expect him to use Skeleton Army, but there his Skeleton Army is out of hand. I always save my lock for the Goblin Barrel because I know that's the only way he's going to get any significant damage. And I know that I already have the lead, so I don't need to worry about anything else. So right here, finally, I've defended for enough time. I'm going to wait for him to play... Uh, I mean, I'm going to wait for my rotation to come up. I'm going to use... Oh, and so it's important. So I use Minor Rock to finish off the game there. So what you need to do is... So if you guys know how to ho uh, hog push, uh, Yarn has a video on that if you do not. If you know how to hog push, so you you click you click the the miner, and you hover the spot where you want him to go, and then you click the rocket at the same time, and then you double tap really quick, uh, really quick. So both troops will be selected. Okay, so once again, you select miner, you hover where you put him on, want to put him on the tower, and then you click the rocket with your other hand. And that way both will be selected and you double click and that way as soon as and you can do you can ro rock it first since rock is so slow actually uh either one works and that way as soon as your mic as soon as your miner lands not only is he kind of hidden behind the rocket as a distraction the rocket will land on top of him at the same time he comes to the tower and this way any counter that he throws on top of the mi miner will immediately be dead and your damage is guaranteed uh, and your miner is guaranteed to connect with tower so that's like the really good finishing combo that you do with this deck. And so finally, let's go into some Graveyard. This guy is using Graveyard Freeze, a very potent combo, a very good meta deck. And we'll see how I can deal with this. So I'm going to probably start off the game, I, I think, with like, I don't know. Yeah, just some, just, just, a, just a small push. I, I'm a little bit too gung-ho sometimes on using... Yeah, okay, so I actually do start... Uh, with a dark goblin in the back. But you don't typically want to start the game off with an offensive push. You want to start with passive. Something passive. Uh, so here. Oh, so I know the dark goblin is going to recover to at least one of the archers. So I go ahead and throw the... I go ahead and throw down him on top. Oh, and so this log is pretty good here. It'll knock out the uh, ice golem and finish off... It'll knock out the ice golem and finish off the skeletons. 
So I was a little bit, the, the freeze just caught me off guard, and that's kind of what that deck does. I was like, oh crap, I, I was expecting minions to finish that off, and I didn't have to play anything else. I was a little bit slow on reacting, but I think Bullet probably would have been the better reaction. Anyway, so once again, when their troops kind of come out in front like that, uh, you can use uh, a miner to, to hit them and to kill them faster. And I wanted the bullet to connect with tower, and I still got some decent damage, but if, once again, if my reaction on that lock had just been a little bit faster, if I killed those skeletons, the bullet would have targeted the tower and got some hits off. So yeah, I was a little bit slow to start with this game. I think it was nervous too, because like I hadn't been playing. This is on stream when I played this match. I wasn't playing very well on stream. Uh, I did get a 12 on the Grand Challenge twice on stream, but I had a few fails where I got to like 11, and I was I was so annoyed and like somewhat tilted. But anyway, so, oh, and once someone has freeze, just realize, yeah, yep, exactly, right there. Uh, and you'll see I prevent almost all the damage. I think after that freeze went through, I only took like two or 300 damage, which isn't, uh, you can almost prevent all of it if you play it perfectly. But when you, when your opponent has freeze, have the ice golem ready. That way when he uses ice golem, uh, when he uses freeze, your ice golem gets frozen and his skeletons will kill it and they'll all die to the ice golem because he doesn't run out of the circle that way. So here you're seeing you're seeing me using my troops that survive, or they're using the troops that I use on defense, counter push. Uh, that was a misplay by me that Dog Album should have been placed a few tiles further up. Oh, and so here, uh, now that I know he's almost in kill range, I'm just trying to exert constant pressure. Um, and I'm just gonna play Ice Golem here, and then if he does freeze the minions, he'll also be freezing the Ice Golem. Yep. And then the Ice Golem should explode. Unfortunately, he still did good enough damage since I had already taken so much. At this point, I just need to start pumping out damage as quickly as I can. Fortunately, I do know that uh, Graveyard in general isn't as great against the second tower. And so I'm just going to do anything I can. So here I do start off the bat because I know he's about to do his offensive push. But I'm also just, uh, I throw down Ice Golem Miner to take out that tower. I need a log here to defend. I did take a little bit too much damage because I'm having to waste uh, Elixir on the opposite side. But at this point, my deck actually is, with Dark Goblin, Bowler, and Miner, and Rocket, you actually are, you're not the best at taking a second tower, but you're not bad either. And so that Bowler at the back with the Freeze had been stacked up for so long and held there, that I'm actually able to stack up a second Bowler. And if you can ever stack up multiple Bowlers, they're just so, they're so hard to take down, especially when your opponent doesn't have a ton of like Mega Minion or Minions. And here, here comes in the third Bowler, and I'm able to throw him down in the middle so that he targets the tower and uh... And the, while the, he deals with one bowler, the other, bowl, other bowler is locked on. And I'm able to throw in a miner and just exert constant pressure and get the log down. And the bowler once again locks on. And even if my bowler wasn't able to lock on again, uh, I would have had a rocket to finish off the game there. And yeah, so I'm able to finish off that game. I beat. I, I took a ton of damage just kind of uh, unfortunately at the beginning of the match. But I'm still able to come back and win the game. And for the final match... We will be doing a live battle. It'll have to be on ladder instead of on. And I probably yeah, I haven't played ladder yet, so I had a bit of a level advantage. Woo! Easy game. Watch, I'm gonna throw this. But so yeah, I'll. Uh, so this guy is probably playing zap bait. Sorry if I'm looking a little bit down. Uh, I play on my iPad, so I look down when I play. So let's get in. Use that dark element in a counter push. Ooh, he missed fireball on the dark element. That's gonna be major damage there. Oh, so this deck, okay, so this deck is the exact same as the other one, except I have Furnace instead of Inferno Tower. I was testing, so this deck would be weaker to tanks, but it's stronger against miners, uh, graveyards, and what's the last one I'm thinking of? It's weaker to tanks like Lava Hound, Golem, uh, Giant, slightly weaker to, the, the, the main matchup it's worse against is Lava Hound, but this is better against control decks mostly. Alright, so let's throw him down. Throw down the minions, they'll take out the, take care of those. Um Nice, nice. The Ice Gun will tank for the miner, he'll do a lot of damage. Throw down Dark Goblin behind that. Yeah, so this deck just has furnace instead of Inferno Tower. It's kind of a personal choice. It, it kinda is that way with Tombstone Furnace uh Inferno Tower. It's just a personal choice more than anything else. Um, I'm actually gonna log the princess here, which is something I said usually you don't want to do because I haven't taken any damage really, and I can just minion his goblin barrel. I didn't want her to shoot the furnace, so uh, it's looking good so far. All I have to do is play defense. Don't take any tower damage, and my minor rocket will finish out the game. And my rocket, since this is ladder, my rocket does a little bit more damage than normal. 
Space these out. Let's get the Dark Goblin over there. Alright. Let's get another Furnace out. Actually, since that Dark Goblin's locking on, my rocket is actually in kill range, so all I have to do is make sure that uh, Princess doesn't disrupt my Furnace. So at this point, you just play defense. This is a really good position to be in with this deck. Because uh, this deck is so good at defending. Um, and uh, like you don't have this big win condition, but with any with a bunch of minor decks, and this is kind of just how it goes. I'm just gonna you know rock it for fun. I want to use it once this game. Uh, I'll be able to use it to finish off a game too. But oh yeah, he does have Dark Goblin. His deck, I mean, uh, so let's get the furnace down over here. He does have his uh, Goblin Barrel on me, but I have my I have a uh, I have Bowler. Ooh, that's nice. That bowl. That bowling ball or whatever you call it. Alright, so Rockets finish out the game there. There's the win. Yeah, so this deck is very versatile. I enjoy using it. I hope you guys watch, uh, enjoyed watching the video. And I'm going to have a draft challenge uh, video coming out later today.